Today, we are going to be demonstrating the LC717A30 Capacitive Touch Sensor Evaluation Kit. The LC717A30 is a capacitance converter for capacitive touch and proximity sensing. In the kit, you will find a main control board, touch switch board, proximity sensor board, DIP conversion board, FPC conversion board, two-channel sensor board, sensor key sheet, plastic bottle with liquid level sensing board, plastic funnel, seven pin header, jumper wires, USB cable, and USB conversion module. Online, you can find a user manual for this kit and a download link for the software. The user manual contains many details not covered in this video, and you should refer to it for the installation of the software and USB drivers. Once the software and USB drivers are installed, connect the switchboard to the main control board, connect the USB conversion module, and connect the module to the computer via USB. Open up the software. Click Load Parameters, and then click PCB SW. Click Monitor Start. When we press the switch, we can see feedback on the screen, we can see LEDs light up on the board, and we hear audio feedback. The touch sensor can sense touch through three millimeters of plastic and three millimeters of air. Even when water is sprayed onto the sensor, it does not interfere with the touch function. If we go back to the GUI and click Raw Data Graph, we can see outputs from the sensor and its offset values. The analog readings and offset values have eight bits of resolution. If we click Data Log Start, the output values, offset values, and switch output values are saved in a CSV file. The CSV file can be opened in Excel for further analysis. Open the setting dialog. Here we can adjust the gain, the touch on and touch off thresholds, as well as the offsets. Increase the gain from one to three. Anytime a setting is changed, we must click monitor stop and then monitor start. With a gain of three, the touch sensor can, be, can detect hands of somebody wearing gloves. Let's now increase the gain from 3 to 16. With a gain of 16, we do not even have to touch the board in order for a hand to be detected. As just shown with the LC717, can detect a hand without requiring any physical contact. The proximity board is designed specifically for this application and can detect a hand as far away as 10 centimeters. To connect the board, click monitor stop. Disconnect the touch switch board from the main control board. and plug in the proximity board. Now click Load Parameters and choose a proximity file. Click Monitor Start. Now we can start detecting proximity from the proximity board. The proximity sensing can be used for detecting gestures from a user, and it can also be used for applications where the sensor must be physically separated from the structure or for sanitary reasons. Even after we spray the board with a spray bottle, the sensors still pick up an input. Moving on, we have the liquid level sensing board. This board is attached to a plastic container and can measure the height of liquid inside this container. This design works great for liquids with high dielectric constants, such as water. 
On Semiconductor also designs boards for low dielectric constants, such as oil, gasoline, and diesel fuel. To connect the sensor, click monitor stop. Disconnect the proximity sensor board from the main control board. Next, control the control board to the liquid level sensing board. First by hooking up ground. See in. And C drive. Also, let's ground the liquid inside the container for less noise. Next, click load parameters and select the liquid level sensing file. and click monitor start. Next we have the sensor key sheet where the touch sensor has been printed on a flexible circuit board. The purpose of this circuit board is to show that the LC717-830 can lend itself to applications requiring curved or flexible sensors. To connect the sensor, click monitor stop, disconnect the main control board from the USB conversion module, Connect the FPC conversion board to the USB conversion module. Then connect the sensor key sheet to the FPC board. Click load parameters. Select the FPC SW file. And click monitor start. And this kit also includes a DIP conversion board and a two-channel sensor board for any unique and original sensor designs. This board is great for prototyping. The two-channel sensor board can be used to prototype touch sensors with two inputs. And the DIP conversion board includes open vias to connect eight of your own sensor pads. A seven-pin header is provided to ease the connection of an I2C or SPI controller. To use this board, connect a USB cable to a PC to the conversion module, and then to the DIP conversion board or a two-channel sensor board. Hook up C drive, ground, and your sensor inputs from your original sensor board to the DIP or two-channel board. For the DIP conversion board, open up the GUI software. The default parameters should work for this board. Feel free to play around with the settings in the setting dialog. Push monitor start to begin using the board. For the two channel sensor board, open up the GUI software, click load parameters, and choose the two channel PCB file. Make sure the USB dongle IF setting is set to SPY instead of I squared C. Feel free to play around with the settings in the setting dialog and push monitor start to begin using the board. For more information, please visit www.onsemi.com or contact an authorized distributor.